Hi, I'm Tom and this is another Whiskey Short. Um, so today again we're going to be having a look at another whiskey to try before you die from Ian Buxton's book. Um, and today it's the prestigious Isla Distillery of Ardbeg. Um, so the expression that Ian's put in his book is the Ardbeg 10 year old, a uh, commonly available expression. Um, and yeah, I have to say it's a distillery that holds a pretty special place in my heart. Obviously, you can't get over the initial smell of peat when you open it up, but it takes me back to good times of visiting there in 2017. So, uh, just looking at Ian's book, um, you know, he has said he's got a bit of mixed feelings with Ardbeg, um, where he talks about how much he likes, uh, likes the distillery. Um, but also has some uh, questions about uh, the way it's pricing some of the luxury stuff. Um, I think the 10 year old's a good whiskey to go for, but I would say, um, you know, there's lots out there. I particularly like the Wee Beastie at the moment, uh, which is a five year old Ardbeg um, and has quite a nice peachy, uh, peaty punch to it, uh, which obviously if you're a peat lover is right up your street. But anyway, I'll bake 10. What do I think of it? So initially on the nose, you get that sort of medicinal uh, bandages, a sort of sweetness to it, some, a little hint of sort of silage and farmyard. more sort of smoky bacon notes coming through now it's been in the glass and uh, something that I associate with being more maritime a slight saltiness maybe on the nose yeah interesting uh, interesting aromas but a lot more there than just that initial sort of uh, peatiness that you get so on the palate I get a lot more sort of um, <clears throat> almost charcoal smoke to it um, don't get the medicinal notes as such um, slightest bit of uh, menthol in there well on the second mouthful yeah definitely a bit more sort of bonfire smoke to it um, again underneath it all sort of some uh, sweet fruity notes but yeah very enjoyable So, yeah, going out on the finish, I'll get more, more of that mintiness uh, that I was talking about before. So all in all, I think a good expression. Um, for me, probably not, <clears throat> would I say it's as enjoyable as I like the wee beastie? Probably not quite there actually I think um, you know something like the Lefroy cask strength um, quarter cask um, which obviously is a lot more money uh, is is a bit more my, my jam um, or the wee beastie for a value value whiskey I mean you can pick that up for 29 pounds sometimes so yeah I mean our big 10 it's a great example of what the Isla distilleries can produce uh, you're not going to sort of be disappointed with it if you have it as a as a peated dram and yeah I hope you uh, hope you get a chance to try it and can go out and enjoy it um, next up I think we've got the Ardmore 20 so I hope you can come back and enjoy uh, another dram with me soon then again I've been Tom this has been Whiskey Shorts thank you and goodbye